good morning students welcome you all for online classes today we will discuss the concept of software basics and software types consider this scenario here a person want to talk with computer okay so how computer will able to understand human language and how computer will respond to human language that is the main task so if a person talks with a computer how computer will going to understand right to interact with computer we need a translator okay that is a type of what programming language somehow here communication it has to establish right between user and computer so it needs what languages different kinds of languages with the help of these languages we have to create a software based on that software computer will going to respond with the users that is the main case okay see here we are using different kinds of programming languages it will going to convert as a software based on this software computer will going to respond to user request now so what do you mean by computer language a language that is acceptable to a computer right it has to accept to perform what a specific task is called a computer language or we can call programming language the term programming language usually refers to high level language such as c c++ java cobol fortran asp.net these all are high level languages through these languages computer we can easily interact with with the computer with the help of these languages we have to develop a softwares based on that softwares computer will going to interact so this is about computer language now what do you mean by programming the process of creating sequence of instructions sequence of instructions instructions means we have to give some command in such a language is called programming or we can call coding this is called what uh, sequence of instructions creating sequence of instructions that language you can call programming or coding see a uh, computer will only understand which language machine language to generate a machine language we need code right so what kind of code it may be java code it may be c code or it may be c++ code what kind of languages are these these all are high level languages right to write a program with the help of these languages c c++ java asp.net python and so on now a program is a set of instructions written to perform a specific task by the computer a set of large program see here a set of large program we can call software a set of instructions we can call program and collection of program or large program we can call software to develop 
software we must have a knowledge of programming language these all are examples of softwares this is microsoft software access database and skype software office microsoft office applications spreadsheet right and powerpoint presentations and so so many applications are there right to develop this software we need programming language right that is the case now consider this scenario a book is there and also computer is there to read a book right to read a book we need automatically it will going to read while seeing this book automatically all the pages contents will going to uh, inside our mind is it possible no here we need operators right to read a book to move on these pages we need operator right similarly to operate a computer we need operating system with the help of operating system we can interact with computer right to operate a computer we need what operating system okay now example word processing software or word document it enables the user to create edit and save the documents and web browser so what will happen in web browser it enables the user to view and share web pages and multimedia files for example youtube youtube will going to open in your browser right or application youtube application then if you want to see your ct result from here you will going to see with the help of web page, web pages right and to make any documents so where which software you are going to use that is microsoft office word document right and see this is what word document here you can create any text or delete any text yes this is what a uh, microsoft office word software right and here in software we have three categories one is what system software another one is application software then third one is utility software so we will try to understand what you mean by the system software system software is what a machine understand only binary language that is 0 and 1 right so human speak in english or kannad or hindi and so on other languages right so these languages will going to understand by human easily but these languages will not understand by your computer computer will only understand binary languages that is 0 and 1 but this language will not going to understand by human so how we will interact with human as well as computer that is based on system software right i hope you understood this concept now the software is required to convert all human instructions into 
machine understandable instructions we have to convert our instruction into machine understandable instructions to convert this we need a software so it is required to run the hardware parts of computer and other application software are called system software to run the hardware parts for example your motherboard cpu right and processor to run these hardware device we need software and other application software both we can call system software it act as an interface between hardware and user applications which one system software an interface is needed because hardware device or machines and humans speak in different languages it is translator right system software is not what translator between computer and user now based on uh, its function system software again we will going to divide three types one is operating system another one is language processor and another one is device drivers this is what operating system so which kind of operating system it is ubuntu operating system and language processor so language processor means here i am taken taking simple c program this is language c language okay here i am printing message hello so after compiling this message will going to compile means to translate this language into machine readable language right so machine language means what 010101 how it will going to compile the sorry translated based on software so which software compiler which which language compiler c language compiler okay this uh, we will discuss in later but understanding purpose i am telling this this is what language processor and another one is device driver device driver means if you install operating system in your laptop or a computer after installing it needs device driver device drivers means if you want to listen any music it requires audio software right so that is what device drivers see to perform this particular uh, suppose network interface card if you are using so it you have to install device this device software separately right so these we can call device drivers these comes under which category system software category so let's see what do you mean by operating system it is uh, responsible for functioning all hardware parts and their interoperability to carry out task successfully is called what operating system and it it first software to be loaded into computer memory so what do you mean by computer memory here computer memory is what a primary memory right that is ram when the computer is switched on and this is called what booting this i have told in primary memory okay and it manages computer's basic functions like what storing a data in memory retrieving a files from storage devices storing as well as fetching the data see here these all are different operating systems one is ubuntu operating system another one is windows operating system red hat operating system linux operating system 
Mac operating system there are different kinds of operating systems now language processor so what do you mean by language processor important function of system software is to convert all user instructions all user instructions into machine understandable language means uh, if you say hi right to computer then computer will going to understand in which language 0 1 or 0 1 this language to convert human readable form into machine readable form that is called what language processor right so there are three types of languages that is machine level language assembly level language and high level language we have already seen these two languages that is machine and assembly level languages but uh, somehow today we'll also learn what do you mean by machine and what do you mean by assembly level language okay to convert this human readable form into machine readable form these languages are important so wh what do you mean by machine level language it is a collection of binary digits or you can say bits bits how you will represent the bits in two digits either 0 or 1 right that's the computer reads and interprets it's a only one language which is understand by whom computer so 0 1 we can call machine level language so remember always machine level language means 0 and 1 or binary digits or bits we can call now if you want to see this machine level language I will give demo suppose my laptop I have C program here this is <coughs> binary file here I I want to show this binary file see is it possible to read any data here no you can't this data will only understand by this computer so it is what machine level language I hope you are, you are understanding right only wherever you see there is only 0 1 0 1 99 right so these all are what machine level languages now what do you mean by assembly level language a program is written in assembly level language consist of a series of instructions in the form of what mnemonics you can call it is mnemonics mnemonics that corresponds to a stream of executable instructions when translated by assembler so for example you can say push add print load these are what assembly level languages we are using uh, to make a uh, computer will understand the language based on these instructions you can call these as mnemonics form next one is high level language it allows us to write a computer code using instructions with everyday spoken English so with the help of uh, we are speaking in the English language right so in that language we are commonly using right print if while right which are then translated into machine level language so we can call it as high level language generally English like statements is there so we can call it as high level languages so some of the programming language 
use a compiler to perform a translation that is high level languages we can call C, C++, Java, Python and so on right now program written in high level languages like C, C++, Java is called what source code with the help of this language if you write a code that we can call source code it's a important technical term please try to remember this and system software converts source code to object code which will easily understand by computer that's what we can say object code is called uh, language processor means it converts human readable form into machine readable form with the, uh, then we can call it is language processor so three types of language interpreters one is assembler interpreter and compiler so what do you mean by assembler it converts assembly level language you know very well what do you mean by assembly level language load print push add these are large assembly level language converts this assembly level program into which language machine level program machine level program means 0 1 that's uh, which will going to converts assembler assembly level language into machine level language which will converts assembler now interpreter high level language into machine level language it converts high level language into machine level program line by line only line by line it will going to convert who will going to convert interpreter right then it is not difficult to remember this right assembly means converts assembly level language into machine level program and interpreter means high level language into machine level programs but how only line by line then a compiler it converts high level programs into machine level programs at one at one means whole program will going to convert machine level program at a time but in interpreter only it will take line by line that is the difference between interpreter and compiler please note on this point okay see here here we are using high level language for example uh, assume C okay in C language take example of C language here we have written some code right actually it is not uh, okay C language then we are using compiler here we are using C compiler then after compile compiler will convert this language into machine readable form that is uh, this assembly level language then it will going to convert your machine level language 0011 right so the in this way our program will going to execute now translation by compiler or interpreter so source program means what if you use any programming language like c c plus plus java okay that file you can call source program then after compiling this program you will get the object program or you can say machine level language this you can say machine level language see here here they are using simple c program okay this is code then they are using compiler compiler will going to convert to machine code that is 010101 and to execute this program we will get the result as hello so in this way c program will going to compile and produce the output now what do you mean by device driver system software that controls and monitors a functioning of a specific device on a computer is called device driver specific device means what uh, 
after installing operating system you need to listen music right so to listen to music you have to install audio driver audio device driver right then if you want to take a printout from your computer or laptop so after connecting a printer to your laptop then how printer is going to work to work that pr printer you need to install software which software printer software so it is a specific device isn't it so to perform specific functioning on specific device we can call device driver just a minute and each device like printer, scanner, microphone and speaker needs to be attached externally to the system as a specific driver associated with it when you attach a new device suppose you want to attach a new device so you have to install its driver for example in your uh, computer or laptop it doesn't have bluetooth bluetooth to make your computer as a bluetooth so how you going to make so there is a one device that is a bluetooth device so that device you have to connect into your pc or laptop then along with that device you you will get one software that is a bluetooth device software so install it so automatically your computer or laptop will become bluetooth okay you can access your computer or laptop with the help of bluetooth device so it is what device driver now application software here it is directly responsible for helping users solve their problems application software uses the capacity of a computer directly from directly for specific task and are used to manipulate text graphics and numbers for example word processing spreadsheet and ppt then database these all are application softwares okay here directly responsible for helping users helping users means if you want to make one document so how to prepare a document or how to prepare your resume so to prepare your resume you need a word document you need word document with the help of this word document you can easily create your resume right uh, another example that is spreadsheet okay here to this spreadsheet will going to help to make a student list their usn name first name last name mid name then branch right so how are you going to prepare these student information with the help of spreadsheet right so these all are what ap application software for example here vlc media player internet browser google chrome then pdf reader right these all are different kinds of application software now see here youtube facebook twitter right these all are what application softwares or your whatsapp this is also an application software now last part is utility software here application software that assist system software application software that assist system software in doing their work is called utility software it is actually cross between 
system software and application software in between it is there so it is called as utility software example for this antivirus right you are using this software right apart from application and system software you are using this antivirus it is also kind kind of software but which kind of software it is utility software disk management tools then file management tools then backup tools so these all utility softwares right if you have any doubts regarding these points please ask me thank you